Number 106. Draw the Lewis structures and predict the shape of each compound or ion, and then we have CO2. So we have to draw the Lewis structure and then predict the shape. Now, when they're talking about a shape, they're talking about either a molecular structure or molecular geometry. So we'll say molecular geometry. But before we even do the molecular geometry or find the molecular structure, always, always, always draw a Lewis structure first. So before we get into this uh, chart right here, which is all your molecular geometries, we basically first have to draw a Lewis structure. Now, between carbon and oxygen, always the least electronegative goes in the middle. And in this case, that's carbon. So we've got carbon, two oxygens, right? Now, if we're drawing the Lewis structure, Lewis structures always come from valence electrons. And for carbon, carbon's in group 4A or 14, depending on what your periodic table says, it's got four valence electrons. And each oxygen has six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Always draw your single bonds first, just to see if you have the octet, and then you can add um, more bonds. So dot to dot is always a single bond, dot to dot. And now just check. This oxygen has two, four, six, seven electrons. It wants that extra one, so there's another bond. Now this oxygen's good. The same thing with this oxygen. Two, four, six, seven. It needs the octet. There's that extra electron, so let's connect it and share. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now it's got eight. And the carbon has two, four, six, eight electrons. So we have officially drawn the Lewis structure. Now let's get that molecular geometry. And the molecular geometry is always going to come from the central atom. So the shape is always going to come from the central atom, the molecular geometry, and in this case, that's the carbon. Now, in order to use this chart, the first thing is you just have to find out the number of electron pairs around your atom. Now, these electron pairs can either be atoms or lone electrons. So I'll just put lone E, like the dots. And that's only for your central atom. So in this case, well, what do I have? I have a oxygen that is bound to the carbon and I got another oxygen that's bound to the carbon. So this carbon, the central atom, has two atoms. Does it have any lone pairs? No, I don't see any dots. I can't count these dots because that's not the central atom. So I have two atoms and zero lone pairs. In order to find out your geometry, all you have to do is just add these two numbers up. So two plus zero is two and then you find your category. And in this case, we have the two. And there's only one molecular geometry for uh, a two, right, which is linear. So just like that, we know that this molecule has a linear molecular geometry, which means that those two bonds that we drew are in a straight line. They are 180 degrees away from each other. So whether you look at it from the top or from the bottom, there's 180 degrees. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Check the channel out. We also got physics and math videos, so we might be able to help you out with those as well, all right? We love helping you guys out. Thank you so much for being part of the community, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.